Hey guys, it's Alma. Welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I would do an update of Bath and Body Works collection because my collection has significantly changed the past couple months, especially with the semi-annual sale. And I've been doing really good and going through a majority of my products. So I wanted to update you guys on what I had left. I still have a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it kind of motivates me to make sure I'm not going crazy and buying unnecessary things. So I'm not going to include any of the stuff that I'm currently using. Um, I have a couple of wallflowers um, like in the walls and of course a body wash and soap that you guys will learn about soon. But let me show you. Let me show you an overview first and then we'll dig in. So this is my entire collection. It's a mix of body washes, hand soaps, candles, wallflowers, hand sanitizers, bath bars, car fragrances, body mist, lotions. <sighs> Let's see how fast we can get through this, you guys. This is a lot more than I thought it was because I had everything so nicely organized, but I'm doing better. I'm getting there. So I thought um, I had much less products that I do. I have 99 things. 99 not including any of the wallflowers, soaps, and body washes that are currently being in use. So I think I went a little crazy this year for semi-annual sale, but let's see. Let's see how fast we can get through this. I think I'm going to get started with the soaps and then just gradually... I'm going to try to keep this as quick as I can, but honestly, it's going to be a beast. So let's get started. Now I'm going to get started with the body washes. A lot of these, I'm not 100% certain what they smell like. I'll have to keep you guys updated once I actually... Um, use them but the very first one I have this is a very very old Bath and Body Works scent it's called Wild Honeysuckle I love the packaging um in here you have watery honeydew wild honeysuckle rankus jasmine orange flower and white woods this is like I don't know if it even tells you from how long ago it was but this is like ancient it's one of like the first scents Bath and Body Works came out with so I'm really excited I actually have that one Next up, I have two of the Autumn Violets Shower Gels. This one has Violet Petals, Wild Fig, and Velvet Vines in there. Y'all tell me this packaging is just not chef's kiss. It's, Bath & Body Works is really stepping their game up. I have one Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This one I just picked up during the semi-annual sale. It has Strawberry Puree, uh, Buttercup Flowers, and Bubbly Prosecco. I already know this one's going to smell good. I'm just, I'm ready for it. I'm 100% ready for it. I have Champagne Apple and Honey. You guys know I absolutely love this scent. I have it in, I've had it in a couple body washes actually. I had it in a body spray, um, like one of the mini ones. I have it in a couple of the bigger ones. I have it in a lotion. So good. I also have Winterberry Wonder, which I got during the winter semi-annual sale, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't tell me what the keynotes are on here. Some of them don't have them. If it does, I'll let you guys know. But I'm really excited about this one. This one to me kind of smelled like raspberries and blackberries uh, based on like the little sniff test that I did. I, of course, have Sweater Weather. You guys know Sweater Weather is one of my favorite scents ever. It smells like a man and it's, just, it's like right up there with Mahogany Teakwood for me. I also have Golden Clementine and Amber. I absolutely love this scent. I went through one of the body sprays and it is so good. Like it exceeded my expectations. This one has juicy, juicy. This one has juicy citrus, sparkling pomegranate and warm amber. So it's a mix between like a, amber to me is kind of like a cashmere, like a vanilla -y scent mixed with like citrusy it smells really really good now this one i picked up during the semi-annual sale it is called fresh getaway it's bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air this one smells really really clean to me and i'm really excited to see how it smells like on the body as you're taking a shower sweet pea you guys know is another oldie but a goodie it has sweet pea watery pear sheer freesia luscious raspberry and soft musk i'm really really excited about this one as well fireside flurries <laughs> This is like a marshmallow-y, like very vanilla. Um, it's definitely a winter scent. It's toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. I'm really excited about this one too. And then I also have golden sunflower. Golden sunflower, there's no keynotes on it, um, but the little sniff 
that I've done of it in the past. I'm not 100% certain how I feel about it, but we'll see. There's a couple body washes that I was kind of disappointed with. Like once I actually use them, they don't smell as good as they do when they come out the packaging. So that'll be another one that we'll do a review on once I use it. I also have sea salt and lavender. This was one of the newer scents I picked up during the semi-annual sale. It's fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. That smells phenomenal. You guys can't tell me that Bath & Body Works packaging is not like top-notch. They've definitely one-upped their packaging and I'm, I'm obsessed. I also have Midnight Swim. This one is blue waters, beach, flower, and fresh coastal air. I'm excited to see what this one smells like as well. Can't really smell it through the packaging because they seal it nicely. Um, but the last two that I have are Pastel Skies and Japanese Cherry Blossom. Japanese Cherry Blossom, you guys know, is also a very, very old Bath & Body Works scent. It has Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. I'm not the biggest fan <coughs> of Japanese Cherry Blossom, but my mom really likes it, so I got it. Pastel Skies, it's very, very pretty packaging, very pastel fits the name um it's soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk i'm really excited about this one as well um but that is the rest of the shower gels that i have i have 16 of them um i think that is just it, it blows my mind honestly how much stuff i have but i'm gonna be good for a really long time so it lets me move on to i think i'm gonna do some hand soaps next so the first one um, that I'm going to show you guys, it's one of the gentle foaming hand soaps. I think I'm going to show you all of those first before I move into the other ones. But it is Snowy Alpine Mountain. And it's one of the ones that I got, I think, in the winter SAS, if I'm not mistaken. It's crisp air, fresh cedar wood, and clean musk. Very, very excited to try that one. Um, I think that one I'm probably going to try during the winter time. I like to keep like the scents that I use based on like the season so we'll see we'll see how much I like that one next up is coastal air which I believe I got this one actually while I was in Indiana it has so next up is coastal air I think I got this one actually when I was in Indiana it has water lily sun drenched lime and lavender I'm very very excited about this one as well love the packaging Isla Margarita you guys know I had to get it. It's fresh squeezed lime and sea salt. And they keep it very simple, but oh, that scent is just, it's so dang good to me. I also got strawberry kiwi. I'm really, really excited about this one. It's strawberry, sweet apple, and tart kiwi. I really like blueberry bellini, and I believe they came from the same line. So I'm super, super excited to see how that one smells. Next up, I have passion fruit and banana flower. This one is passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flowers. I've used the candle and I'm iffy about it. I'm not 100% certain how I feel about it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Blueberry Bellini, you guys know, I freaking love this scent. It is wild blueberry, bright citrus, and sparkling Prosecco. Chef's kiss, it literally smells like a blueberry pie. Absolutely phenomenal. I also have Black Tie Night. This one, it doesn't have any keynotes on it, but to me, it's like a very, very intense mahogany teakwood scent. I really, really like this one. Um, I haven't used it yet. As you notice, like some of the scents I really, really like, I purposely wait to use it last just so I don't have to part with it. A little ridiculous, but that's just how I roll. And then I also have a mahogany teakwood. You guys know mahogany teakwood has my heart. It's rich mahogany, black teakwood, and dark oak. Really, really love this scent. I always have multiples of those. Moving on to the gentle gel hand soaps. The first one is Lakeside Afternoon. It has soaked lavender, dockside breeze, and fresh rain. That one I got in Indiana as well. It just caught my attention. White tea and sage. I have a hand sanitizer in this one, I believe, but it's really fresh tea, lemon, and herbs. It's super, super simple. It's a very, I feel like this one's kind of going to be more of a fall scent. It smells pretty good to me if you like the smell of tea. Um, if you don't, I don't think you're going to like that one, but that one, I like it. I'm not the biggest fan, but like I could, I could deal with it. Next up is Honolulu Sun, which has Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood. Really, really excited. I love my Honolulu Sun. It's another really good one. I also have Frozen Lake, which is 
frozen cypress, eucalyptus, and juniper berry. This is going to be a perfect, perfect winter scent. I, I think I'm going to really like that one. Next, I have winter. This packaging is so stinking cute. It has spiced orange, fir blossom, and clove buds. I also have autumn rainfall, which this one, I had it once, I believe, and I really, really liked it. It's aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. Ocean driftwood. This one I also got in Indiana. I'm almost positive this is a repackaging of Mahogany Antigua. Let me know. If you guys have tried it, let me know what your thoughts are. But it's beachside oak, sea wash, mahogany, and ocean lavender. I, I think I'm going to really like this one too. Last but not least of the hand soaps is Winter Candy Apple. And Winter Candy Apple has red apple, winter rose petals, and candied orange in there. How many was that? I don't even know how many I had of those. 20? Let me count really quick. And before I forget, last but not least, flannel. This one was hiding on me. But I absolutely love flannel as well. It's crisp autumn air, heirloom mahogany, and cedar wood. I'm super, super stoked about this one. I love it. I have it in the, I have it in so many different hand soaps, um, car fragrances. I think at one point I had it in a hand sanitizer, a body wash. I love that scent. Looking at just the soaps, it's kind of like overwhelming. I think if I count it correctly, I have 17 soaps. Yeah, 17 soaps. Moving on, I think we're gonna move right along to candles. Candles are up next. So I'm gonna get started with the two um, three wick candles that I have and then move on to the single wicks. The first one I have is Kiwi Starfruit Cooler. I really, really, really like this. I, it's kind of like a Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. It has sweet starfruit, sparkling kiwi seltzer, splash of guava juice, lemon garnish with natural essential oils. To me, it's a very, very fruity scent and it just makes the whole house smell absolutely amazing. This one, I just did a review on it, Strawberry Daiquiri. Strawberry Daiquiri has frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, zesty citrus twist, and also natural essential oils. I love the scent. I I don't know if I like it better in the candle or the wallflower. I just, I love, love, love the scent. I just, I can't say enough good things. I really, really like this candle. So you guys know I went a little crazy during SAS for candles. I have 10 of the single wicks. First one I have is Coastal Watermelon. This packaging is absolutely amazing. Um, it has juicy watermelon, pinch of pink sea salt, ocean waves. I'm really, really excited about this one. I haven't burned it yet, but I'm intrigued. I also have Raspberry Mimosa. Raspberry Mimosa has sweet raspberries, rosé, sorbet, a splash of champagne. This one, so good. It literally smells like a mimosa. This is just fire. I absolutely love that one. Watermelon lemonade. One of my favorites. Guys, I freaking love this scent. It has... I want to tell me what it has in here. Well, I guess this one won't tell me what the keynotes are, but it literally smells like watermelon lemonade. It's just such a good scent. The entire house smells very, very fruity. It's like a fun summer scent. Next up, I have iced dragon fruit tea. This one also doesn't have like um like anything on the bottom that tells me what's inside of it. It, just smells so good. it smells like a mango dragon fruit refresher from Starbucks. If you guys have ever tried that, that's literally what it smells like. I can't wait to see what it smells like when I'm actually burning it. Next up is Orange Pineapple Punch. This one's really, really cute too. I like this one. It has, this one also won't tell me what's in here. Some of them, you guys, literally, they're so sneaky, sneaky. They won't tell me what's in there. But based on what I'm gathering, it's like an orange pineapple sent to me. A lot of these, I won't really know what they smell like unless I actually burn them, which it's going to take me a while to get there. Next is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. This one smells so freaking good. But it has sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. Tell me that does not sound like an amazing scent. Next, I have Ocean Driftwood. And you guys know, I just showed you an Ocean, ocean Driftwood hand soap. Super excited about it. 
uh, Beachside Oak Sea Wash Mahogany Ocean Lavender. Like this is probably going to be one of my favorite candles. I also have a passion fruit and banana flower candle. So I have it now in the soap and I have it in the candle. Last two candles I have are Hibiscus Waterfalls. This one has tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist. And then I also have Fiji White Sands. You guys know I've talked about Fiji White Sands in the past. I absolutely love this scent. In here, it doesn't tell me really what's in there, but this one to me is kind of like a coconutty uh, beach scent. Mm -hmm. I really freaking love this scent. I've had it in hand soaps and wallflowers, so I'm really, really excited to see how it burns. And then, my friends, is 12 candles. Um, you've been keeping up, what, 16 body washes, 17 soaps, and 12 candles. So that's, what's 29 plus 16? 45, 45 items. We're, we're about halfway. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back up on the shelves where it goes, and then we're going to continue with some body sprays. All right, guys, I only have 11 body sprays. So... That's going to get the count up to 56. We're rocking and rolling. So the first one I wanted to show you guys is Champagne Apple and Honey. It has Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. You guys know I absolutely love this set. I don't know how to describe it other than it's just so fruity and just, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. I have it in the body wash spray. I had it in a hand sanitizer. I have it in a lotion. You guys know, it's one of my top 10. So next up is Lakeside Citrus. I really, really like this set. It has autumn air, citrus zest, and sparkling water. I'm almost done with it. So it'll be coming up in a review pretty shortly. Japanese Cherry Blossom. My mom is almost out of this one completely, uh, but it has Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa, Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. This is her top favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Not 100% certain why, but she really, really likes it. I also have Endless Weekend. I really like how it almost looks like a little like watermelon. I love it. It's Summer Mandarin, Blue Coconut Water, and a Vanilla Sandalwood. This one I actually really, really like. I've only used it a couple times, so we'll see by the time I end up using it if I recommend it or not. All right. Fresh Coconut Snowball. I love this scent. It's a typical, like, coconutty winter scent. It has Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow Kissed Woods, and Spun Sugar, and the packaging to die for. You guys guessed it. I have a mini champagne, apple, and honey because why not? I like keeping this one in my purse. Sunshine Mimosa is one of the newer ones that I picked up, but it's really, really good. It's bright, bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. I also love like the little orange color. I love it. Open Sky is another one that I freaking love. It has wild blackberries, fresh air, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. It's like a perfumey vanilla. Maybe I can smell a little bit of the fruitiness, but I really, really like this one as well. Saltwater Breeze is another new one that I recently picked up during the semi-annual sale. It has fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. And the very last one that I have is Pure Wonder. I love this packaging. It has iced rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. We'll see how much I like this one once I use it up. But y'all following along, okay? I'm like exhausted just from putting away the other stuff. But what we have left are pocket bags, room sprays, uh, body bars, a lot of uh, car fragrance, lotions and wallflowers so i think let's get into it let's dig deep into those wallflowers because i'm i love my wallflowers i have like 20 of them so let's get to do those so i have 22 wallflowers that brings our total up from 57 to 79 um yeah i have a lot of stuff so let's just 
let's just get going. First one, you guys know. It's the one that I buy the most of. It's Island Margarita. I think I have two of these left. Um, but Island Margarita, let's read the key notes on these ones because it's a little different from the hand soaps. It has sweet mandarin, iced mango, and sea salt. Um, I'm not sure why the wildflowers are a little different than the um, like the soaps, but these ones still smell really, really good. I also have Rain Kiss Petals, this one. A lot of these I picked up during the semi-annual sale because I was almost completely out. It has Rain Kiss, Rose, Soft Cedarwood, and Suede Musk. I also have Pineapple Mango. Pineapple Mango is an enhanced fragrance. It has fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripened raspberry. That sounds promising. A lot of these I haven't tried yet, so we'll see once I um, actually put them in the wallflower plugs how I like them. Mahogany Teakwood, you guys know, I love this one. I always have to have one. It's rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. It's just perfection in my eyes. I also have Aloha, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, which is another one of my favorites. Um, it's very much like an island margarita, but with like a little kiwi twist. This one has tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. I'm really excited about this one as well. I've had a couple of them, so we'll see. We'll see how they change as the packaging changes. I have two more mahogany teakwoods. That's how much I love this scent. I always have to have it on file. Then I have strawberry pound cake. This one is a um, second because I have one currently in the house and it smells absolutely amazing. It's fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I really, really like the scent. Pink lemonade. Tell me this packaging is not absolutely adorable. But this one I haven't tried yet. It is sweet strawberry puree, acai berries, and fresh lemonade sugar. That one also sounds like it's going to be a hit because I love me some pink lemonade. I also have Deep Blue Sea, which is another one of their new fragrances. This one has Blue Citrus Waves, Crisp Island Woods, and Fresh Cypress. I wonder if this is like a very manly scent, but I'm intrigued. I also have Fresh Getaway. Fresh Getaway has Bright Yuzu Citrus and Fresh Ocean Air. I'm really excited about this one because I have it in, I believe, in a... Is that their body wash or hand soap? I forgot which one I have it in. I also have Market Peach. Market Peach is juicy peaches, dew-covered leaves, and a hint of vanilla. I don't smell the vanilla in these. I, it's just strictly peaches to me. It smells so freaking good. I have, of course, another Market Peach. I really, really like this scent. Um, any scent that I like, I have like duplicates of. I also have Warm Ocean Breeze, which I feel like I just showed that one. But it's Ocean Sandalwood, Warm Sage, Eucalyptus Dust, and Coconut. I think I'm going to really, really like this scent. I also have a Hibiscus Waterfalls. I have it in the candle as well. Raspberry Tangerine. I really, really like this. I've had it in the past. It's Wild Raspberries, Fresh Tangerine, and Lemon Zest. I also have Rosewater and Ivy and Ohio Take Wood. This one looked really, really intriguing to me, but we'll see if it's like an overpowering scent or not. It has rich mahogany, black teakwood, soft rose petals, and rain-kissed English ivy. That might be a little too strong for me, but we'll we'll see. I also have a watermelon lemonade wallflower. I also have it in the candle. I have another warm ocean breeze, so I think I have two of them now. I have Peach Bellini. Peach Bellini is one of my absolute favorites. It's succulent, white peach, sparkling Prosecco, and sweet orange. And I have another one, so I have two of those. That is all the wallflowers I have, which is, quite frankly, too many. But I go through them really, really quickly. So I think we're going to move on to pocket bags next. I think 11 pocket bags. Two, four, six, eight. So I have 11 pocket bags. I think my count might be off by a little bit because we are at 90, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 89 or 90. Um, but I have, you guys are going to just guess it, I have two mahogany teakwood pocket bags. I found these in Indiana and I'm like super, super stoked about it. I also have a island margarita pocket bag, which love that. I also have a sweet pea. Um, I have a lot of like the classic staples. 
Um, I also have a Japanese cherry blossom, which I don't think I've ever used any um, Japanese cherry blossom pocket bags, but I'm excited to see the difference in the scents. I have Halloween, and this one is kind of like a lemon limey scent to me. It only comes out during the Halloween time. I've had a little bit of it, and I'm not mad at it. Next up, I have Pumpkin Donut. I'm not the biggest fan of it just because I'm not a huge pumpkin girl, but we'll see as I use it more how much I like it. I have Frosted Cranberry, which is an oldie, but a goodie. I actually just found this one not too long ago cleaning out my closet. I have Peach Bellini. Peach Bellini, you guys know, I don't go without that scent. I also have Beautiful Day, which is such a pretty summer scent. And I also have Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz, which is one of the newer scents that I picked up. We'll see how much I like it. I liked it on the hand the first time that I like tried it, but some scents, I don't know if you guys are like this, they don't smell the same the more you use them. You have an antibacterial hand spray as well in white tea and sage. This one, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at the scent. It's a very like tea scent. It's not overpowering, which is kind of why I like it as much as I do. But those are all the the hand sanitizers and pocket bags that I have, which is... Uh, guys, I just have so much stuff, but we're almost done. I promise. Let's get into lotions. So I only have four lotions right now. I have a thousand wishes, which I have like the little mini hand, um, hand lotion, which I do really like having that one in my purse because my hands are always so freaking dry. I have a thousand Christmas wishes, which is pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberry, star jasmine, and sugared woods. Yum. I have champagne apple and honey you guys thought I was joking like I love this scent and I also have French lavender and honey which in here you have it says experience the charming south of France and gorgeous sun soaked fields of lavender with our exclusive French French lavender and honey fragrance I guess it has um, a blend of French lavender lily of the valley and nectarine warmed with sun-kissed honey and white oak musk I really like this one as well so that was two, that was a four lotions, which brings us up to 93, 94. Guys, I'm losing count. All I know is I have almost exactly 100 items that I still haven't used, um, which is a little insane to me, but I'm set for a really long time. And I'm using them. So that's my way of justifying things. I only have five things left. That's it. The first thing I have is a car fragrance in sweater weather. You guys know I absolutely love this scent. I have to have it. I My car smells so freaking good from it. It's a 10 out of 10. I also have Frozen Lake, which is a very musky and like wintry scent. I use this one for the bathroom or just any one of the rooms when I'm cleaning just to kind of make things smell a bit better. And I also have Island Margarita. I love Island Margarita. I'm kind of scared to use it in my car because I feel like it'll kind of suffocate me, but I really, really like that scent. Last but certainly not least, I have two of the Shea Butter Cleansing Bars. You guys know, like, I was really upset no one told me about these, but I have it in Pure Wonder and Sunshine Mimosa, which I also have the body sprays in, so I know I'm going to love them. But I'm really, really exciting, excited to see, like, how these feel on the skin, you know? For those that stuck around to the end, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated collection video. As always, my loves, I hope everyone has an amazing day and even better tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh,